Bush tucker, also called bush food, is any food native to Australia and used as sustenance by the original inhabitants, the Aboriginal Australians, but it can also describe any native fauna or flora used for culinary and or medicinal purposes, regardless of the continent or culture. Examples of Australian native animal foods meats include kangaroo, emu and crocodile. In particular, kangaroo is quite common and can be found in Australian supermarkets, often cheaper than beef. Other animals, for example goanna and wichiti grubs, were eaten by Aboriginal Australians. Fish and shellfish are culinary features of the Australian coastal communities. Examples of Australian native plant foods include the fruits quandong, cuthera, muntries, ribery, Davidson's plum, and finger lime. Native spices include lemon myrtle, mountain pepper, and aniseed myrtle. A popular leafy vegetable is warrigal greens. Nuts include bunya nut, and the most identifiable bush tucker plant harvested and sold in large-scale commercial quantities is the macadamia nut. Knowledge of aboriginal uses of fungi is meagre but beefsteak fungus and native bread, a fungus also, were certainly eaten. Aboriginal Australians have eaten native animal and plant foods for an estimated 60,000 years of human habitation on the Australian continent see Indigenous Australian food groups, Australian Aboriginal sweet foods. Various traditional methods of processing and cooking are used. Toxic seeds, such as cycas media and moriton bay chestnut, are processed to remove the toxins and render them safe to eat. Many foods are also baked in the hot campfire coals, or baked for several hours in ground ovens. Paperbark, the bark of Melaleuca species, is widely used for wrapping food placed in ground ovens. Bush bread was made by males using many types of seeds, nuts and corns to process a flour or dough to make bread. Aboriginal traditional native food use has been severely affected by non-indigenous immigration since 1788, especially in the more densely colonised areas of southeastern Australia. There, the introduction of non-native foods to aboriginals has resulted in an almost complete abandonment of native foods by aboriginals. This impact on traditional foods has been further accentuated by the loss of traditional lands which has resulted in reduced access to native foods by aboriginals and destruction of native habitat for agriculture. The recent recognition of the nutritional and gourmet value of native foods by non-indigenous Australians is introducing native cuisine to many for the first time. Colonial use Bush tucker provided a source of nutrition to the non-indigenous colonial settlers, often supplementing meagre rations. However, bush foods were often considered to be inferior by colonists unfamiliar with the new land's food ingredients, generally preferring familiar foods from their homelands. In the 19th century, English botanist, J.D. Hooker, writing of Australian plants and flora of Tasmania, remarked although eatable, are not fit to eat. In 1889, botanist Joseph Maiden reiterated this sentiment with the comment on native food plants, nothing to boast of as eatables. The first monograph to be published on the flora of Australia reported the lack of edible plants on the first page, where it presented Ballardiera scandens as almost the only wild eatable fruit of the country. This became the accepted view of Australian native food plants until the late 20th century. It is thought that these early assessments were a result of encountering strong flavours not generally suitable for out-of-hand eating, but these strong flavours are now highly regarded for culinary use. The only Australian native plant food developed and cropped on a large scale is the macadamia nut, with the first small-scale commercial plantation being planted in Australia in the 1880s. Subsequently, Hawaii was where the macadamia was commercially developed to its greatest extent from stock imported from Australia. Topic Modern use In the 1970s non-indigenous Australians began to recognise the previously overlooked native Australian foods. Textbooks like Wild Foods in Australia by the botanist couple Crib and Crib were popular. In the late 1970s horticulturists started to assess native food plants for commercial use and cultivation. In 1980 South Australia legalised the sale of kangaroo meat for human consumption. Analysis showed that a variety of bushfoods were exceptionally nutritious. In the mid-1980s several Sydney restaurants began using native Australian ingredients in recipes more familiar to non-indigenous tastes, providing the first opportunity for bushfoods to be tried by non-indigenous Australians on a serious gourmet level. 
This led to the realization that many strongly flavored native food plants have spice-like qualities. Following popular TV programs on Bush Tucker, a surge in interest in the late 1980s saw the publication of books like Bush Food, Aboriginal Food and Herbal Medicine by Jennifer Isaacs, The Bush Food Handbook and Uniquely Australian by Vic Cherikoff, and Wild Food Plants of Australia by Tim Lowe. Bush Tucker ingredients were initially harvested from the wild, but cultivated sources have become increasingly important to provide sustainable supplies for a growing market, with some Aboriginal communities also involved in the supply chain. However, despite the industry being founded on Aboriginal knowledge of the plants, Aboriginal participation in the commercial sale of Bush Tucker is currently still marginal, and mostly at the supply end of value chains. Organizations are working to increase Aboriginal participation in the bush tucker market. Gourmet-style processed food and dried food have been developed for the domestic and export markets. The term bush food is one of several terms describing native Australian food, evolving from the older style bush tucker which was used in the 1970s and 1980s. Media. TV shows made use of the Bush Tucker theme. Malcolm Douglas was one of the first presenters to show how to live off the land in the Australian outback. Major Les Hiddens, a retired Australian Army soldier popularised the idea of Bush Tucker as an interesting food resource. He presented a hit TV series called The Bush Tucker Man on the ABC TV network in the late 1980s. In the series, Hiddens demonstrated his research for NORFORCE in identifying foods which might sustain or augment army forces in the northern Australian outback. NORFORCE is a regional force surveillance unit of the Australian Army Reserve. In early 2003, the first cooking show featuring authentic Australian foods and called Dining Down Under was produced by Vic Cherikoff and Bailey Park Productions of Toronto, Canada. This was followed by the Special Broadcasting Service SBS production of Message Stick with Aboriginal chef, Mark Olive. Ray Mears recently made a survival television series called Ray Mears Goes Walkabout which focused on the history of survival in Australia, with a focus on Bush Tucker. In the series, Les Hiddens was a guest in one episode, with the two men sharing their knowledge and discussing various aspects of Bush Tucker. In the TV survival series, Survivor Man. Host and narrator, Les Stroud, spent time in the Australian outback. After successfully finding and eating a witchetty grub raw he found many more and cooked them, stating they were much better cooked. After cooking in hot embers of his fire, he removed the head and the hind of the grub and squeezed out thick yellow liquid before eating. <laughs> Native Australian food plants listed by culinary province and plant part Australian bush tucker plants can be divided into several distinct and large regional culinary provinces. Please note, some species listed grow across several climatic boundaries. Topic. Top end Monsoonal zone of the Northern Territory, Cape York and Northwestern Australia Topic Fruits Topic Vegetables Topic Nuts Topic Spices Topic Outback Australia Arid and semi arid zones of the low rainfall interior. Topic Fruits Topic Vegetables Topic Seeds Topic Spices Topic 
Insects in Gaul Bush coconut Mulga apple Eastern Australia Subtropical rainforests of New South Wales to the wet tropics of northern Queensland Fruit Vegetable Topic Spices Topic Nut Topic Temperate Australia Warm and cool temperate zones of southern Australia, including Tasmania, South Australia, Victoria, and the highlands of New South Wales. Topic Fruit Topic Seed Topic Spice Topic Vegetable Topic Leaf Topic See also Australian Aboriginal sweet foods, Australian cuisine, Bush bread, Bush food industry history Bush meat, Bush medicine, damper food, Indigenous Australian food groups, Country food equivalent term in Canada.